Good evening children! Tonight I would love to read you a story about Get Well Soon. Get Well Soon When Wobbly Fang came down for breakfast, Mummy wasn't there. She wasn't singing with the wolf chore or admiring the view from Snowy Peak. All that was left of her was her moon feather coat. Don't worry, Wobbly Fang, said Daddy, ruffling his fur. Mummy's not very well and has had to go away for a little while, but we are going to visit her every day. He swung Wobbly Fang into the wagon and off they went to see her. Past the pine trees and singing birds, past the snowy peaks and big rivers and into a different world. Mummy lie in a strange room. She didn't look like Mummy. She looked small and lost and alone. Wobbly Fang wanted to give her a hug, but there were too many bottles in the way. Very gently, he reached out for her paw. When are you coming home, Mummy? he asked. In a little while, said Mummy. That evening, Wobbly Fang thought about Mummy, far away from the forest and all alone in her strange room. Then he had an idea. He went down to Bear Hollow and called for the wolf chore. I need your help, he told them. The next morning, the wolf Chor was waiting for him by the wagon. When they reached the hospital, Wobbly Fang led them into Mummy's room. All at once, it was filled with the sound of forest folk songs. How wonderful, said Mummy, and her eyes began to sparkle like they used to. Very gently, Wobbly Fang reached over and planted a kiss on the tip of her nose. When are you coming home, Mummy? he asked. In a little while, said Mummy. That evening, Wobbly Fang climbed to the top of Snowy Peak. He took out his paint box and painted the green pines, the mountains and the big blue river. Under a blossoming tree, he added two wolves dancing together. How wonderful, said Mummy when she saw her view from Snowy Peak. Her ears prick up just like they always did when she was happy. Wobbly Fang moved the butlers to one side. He climbed onto Mummy's bed and gave her a little hug. When are you coming home, Mummy? he asked. In a little while, said Mummy. Wobbly Fang sat in the kitchen that evening. He buried his nose in Mummy's moon feather coat. It smelled of Mummy and their forest walks to Snowy Peak. Suddenly, a little while seemed an awfully long time. What are you going to bring Mummy tomorrow? asked Daddy as he tucked Wobbly Fang up in bed. Wobbly Fang closed his eyes. There was only one thing left to give. When they arrived at the hospital the next morning, Wobbly Fang ran up to Mummy's room. But when he got there, her bed was empty. Mummy! howled Wobbly Fang, but there was no answer. He snuffled under beds and opened cupboards but it was no good. Mummy was nowhere to be found. And then, suddenly, Wobbly Fang heard a faint howl of a forest folk song. He followed it down a long corridor, round a corner and there, sitting on a bench with her suitcase, was Mummy. Wobbly Fang flew into her arms. I've been waiting for you, said Mummy, giving him a big hug. And you've brought my moon feather coat. When are you coming home, Mummy? asked Wobbly Fang. 
Now, said Mummy, and off they went. Does the end of this beautiful story have a good night?